Hi guys everybody, all my followers, uh, welcome to uh, another video. This time the car is a um, Ford Fiesta 2005 and uh, I'm not sure, I know it's petrol, not sure which engine. Uh, the car came to me because of uh, that problem there, the airbag light. It's quite random, uh, now it's a solid on, uh, you just saw it coming up. But uh, sometimes is um, flashing. Um, sometimes it's solid, so it's a little bit random. Uh, I don't know what the problem is yet, but um, I have um, IDS already connected, and uh, we're gonna scan the car and see what uh, what it comes up with. Okay, so he's now scanning. So oh, this is the Fiesta 3 door. So the engine is the 1.25. It's a manual, blah blah blah. That's correct, yes it is. Okay, repair order. 58,000 miles, that's correct. Uh, repair order, it's gonna put a zero in there. Press continue. Okay, so what I wanna do is body, no chassis, no. Hmm. Another parts function. Is restraints okay? Let's gonna do a self test. The light is uh, still solid yellow, sometimes it is flashing, most of the times, it's actually flashing. Okay, so we have um, one fault, two faults here. Okay, so we have a uh, retractor circuit failure. So that's the, the tensioner. And that one is, is the same. Oh, this, sorry, they are both the same codes. So that's that's the problem. So I believe it's going to be something with that uh, with that uh, little module underneath here, by the sounds of it. <coughs> but we're gonna delete these codes. And they no codes there, but we still have one in there. So it's gonna go back. No, I don't want to do this. None. 
Okay. So, start the engine again. Okay, so we still have the light flashing, obviously that didn't. So let's gonna have a, a proper look now at the codes and we're gonna start to inspect this circuit here. Okay, so let's gonna have a proper read of this. Um, but um, I believe it's going to be something on that uh, plug over there or some power contact that we'll have to have a look first. Okay, so what I've done first is I went underneath the seat. There's a plug right here. So I've took the plug, um, I've unplugged that and um, um, I've checked the contacts um, and um, Obviously you have the male that goes into the, usually there's a, a, a sort of a, a plate uh, a thing that goes on the pin and um, that, when I looked just visually, it looked that was a little bit too apart from each other so when the pin would go in between, uh, the contact possibly wouldn't, may, wouldn't be that good. So I've, I've took the pins out um, and I've just... Um, uh, push those plates together so when I put it back on hopefully the contact is much better I don't know if that's the problem but what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna scan the car again so key on okay key on it's gonna scan the car again and see if we have any codes <laughs> uh, Obviously the light is on because I'm scanning the car. And so far so good. So no codes anymore. It's passed. So it looks good. Let me... So the light is off now. Because obviously it's not, it's not scanning anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wiggle the plug. I'm going to grab that plug and I'm going to... Sorry guys, I gotta wiggle that plug. I'm touching the wires. That goes into the plug. The ones that go in. The ones that come out. Okay. Move the plug about. No more light. That sounds good to me. I believe we nailed it. I believe we sort the problem out. Let's just... Uh, on this program we need to go... Where to go? Go back. Just clear the continuous. Great stuff. Position zero. Okay, so let's gonna exit the module completely. That's it. It's gonna start the engine, light is off. And uh, hopefully it will stay off. So that's it guys. I think we nailed the problem. So the problem was just the plug on the underside. Was nothing wrong with the tensioner itself. It was just the plug. Um, it's quite common for this problem to happen, uh, mainly because obviously the seat keeps going back and forth, and it starts to, you know, force and put a little bit of stress on the plugs and the wires. And um, and yeah, guys, that uh, that's problem solved. Um, that's it. Uh, hopefully, I've gave you some useful, useful information, um, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. 
and like always uh, thank you for watching